time for an auto edition of Taste of the Town. Miami Chef Giorgio Rappicavoli's career highlights include being crowned Chopped champion on the hit Food Network show. He also made Forbes magazine's 30 under 30 list. Nice job on the name, by I the way. I tried. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now he's over 30 and he's a dad. The celebrated chef has opened a restaurant to reflect his family's heritage and love of Italian cuisine. Mm -hmm. CBS4's Lisa Petrillo takes us to Luca Osteria in Coral Gables. <laughs> Award-winning chef Giorgio Rappacavoli's motto for his Luca Osteria is clear. I mean, this says it all. Good pasta, good people. You better be. That's what you're about, right? All about. Located on Geralda Avenue in Coral Gables, Luca Osteria is Chef Giorgio's vision of recreating his family's timeless Italian dishes with his own special twists. Well, I'm an Italian, Italian American, um, first generation American in my family. Grew up eating these foods and these flavors and traveling to Italy, so to open an Italian restaurant was always a dream of mine. My son is Luca, so we named the restaurant after him. Chef knew he had to be more forward thinking when it came to opening another Italian restaurant in Coral Gables, so both the menu and the vibe are fresh and different. On a busy Saturday night, you might hear classic hip hop music. It's kind of has like this like bustling bistro kind of environment, I would say. Um, the restaurant's usually quite full. It's loud and boisterous and fun. He's also well aware of the times we're in. It's tough for a lot of people to go out and spend money on dinner. Absolutely. Um, I think the most important thing is to provide a complete experience and have, not, again, it goes to the service, the drink, the atmosphere, the food, value in the food. There are eight pastas on the menu, which are all first pressed, then made fresh nightly by chef. We begin with their signature dish, pasta alla limone, with butter, cream, cheese, and a whole lemon. It's fresh. clean and fresh and light, and that's what I was going to say. I yeah. saw you put the butter and the cream and all yeah. that in it, and you it's don't... It's balanced. You, you, it's balanced. You yeah. don't taste the heaviness. You just taste this light, fresh, unbelievable pasta. Yeah. Next, pasta alla nina, with roasted red pepper, Calabrian chilies, and burnt breadcrumbs. The pasta shape is radiatori, uh -huh. okay, which looks like little radiators. Uh -huh. This pasta is named after my mom. Love that. She's a big fan of spice. You should keep your day job. I will try. This is also maybe like one of the first times I actually sit down and eat in my own restaurant. Well, see, that's why you're on Taste of the Town today. Yeah, this is cool. We try the creative and delicious twist on panzanella made with hand-smashed heirloom tomatoes, olive oil, croutons, and green basil before ending on Anto's tiramisu, named after his Aunt Antoinella's homemade recipe. Vanilla bean, mascarpone, uh, savoyardi, Italian lady fingers that are soaked in coffee and marsala. What a way yeah. to end it, that's all I gotta say. Yeah. Oh, I have to keep going? Sorry, Chef, but let's tell everybody how many days you're open here. All right, so we are open Tuesday through Sunday at dinner starting at 5.30. All right, and we're gonna give a recipe for these two dishes, yes. which are? Pasta limone and panzanella. Thank you so much with a fantastic taste of the town here in Coral Gables. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News.